How's it going guys? This is John McLennan and I'm here with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video blog and what we're talking about today is Freddie Green style uh, chord voicings over just a 12 bar blues, a jazz blues. So one of the things that makes a blues a little different um, you know, a jazz blues, I mean, there's so many different variations to the changes as opposed to maybe a traditional blues that you may be used to, like, you know, that kind of thing, is that instead of the five chord down to the four chord, you do what's called a two, five, one. And uh, that in the key of B flat, which is what key we're in right now, is going to be a C minor seven to an F seven to a B flat seven. But anyways, we're going to go over all the chords right now from the top, and if you're confused, be sure to click the link below for the tab. But here's here we go. So we've got B flat 7, and we've got 6th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret. Just those three notes, and again, our strumming is just like a real solid quarter note. This kind of thing. And then again, I'm just dampening all the other strings muting, so I don't hear the strings ringing open in there, but it's just really tight sound, real punchy. And then the next chord is going to be an E flat 7, and that's going to be 6th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret. Notice I keep the B flat in the bass, so this chord is rootless. But again, in the jazz idiom, uh, you know, bass players are going to like you when you're playing rootless voicings, you know, because they'll just play the bass note for you, so you get to play all the cool notes. So, two, three, four, three, four. So that's our first four bars. Then we go to the E flat for two bars, back to B flat. And then we're going to go to a C minor seven, which is uh, now moving to the eighth, eighth, eighth. Uh, you know, those are the frets there, 888, eight, eight. C minor 7 with the root here, and then the F7 is going to be exactly the same as our E flat 7 chord, but now up a whole step. So my second finger, which again doesn't have the root in it, because I'm coming from this chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, is, is going to have the C in the bass. So I've got 8, uh, 7, 8, and then for the end, I'm going to do what's called a 1-6-2-5, which is a typical jazz turnaround chord progression. So that's going to go from a B-flat 7 for two strums, I'm going to move that to the 3rd fret for two strums, then I'm going to go up to the C minor, F7, so it's a four. Here's the top. So fun stuff, practice that with a metronome, and again, just solid quarter note strums, learn the chord voicings, click the link below for the tab, and uh, we'll catch you in the next lesson. Hope this helps.